I didn't want anyone in my company to think that I was cutting corners. Even if they thought it was overkill, I wanted people in my company to feel safe and to feel like, and also if anything did go wrong, to say we've done X, Y, Z to, to try and make sure that this, this didn't happen. Of your own answers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we're, we've started off this conversation making the whole, I think we are making it sound all quite scary, the whole being a performer. It's terrifying. It is, man. It's like, terrifying. It's, 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 it is, isn't it? It's, there's some worrying sides to it. But is there is there a way that that we should be like looking to come out of our comfort zones? Because how do we do that? How do we do that as artists? Go into a place where we're not completely safe all the time and go to somewhere different that can be new and exciting. Again, like, Noel, how would you, how do you send actors out there able to embrace what they don't know with this scary world? Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? I'm sure everyone's read that thing about what Ray Fiennes has said and what Matt Smith said about the whole trigger warning thing and about, like, well, they shouldn't have them. And people's point is, well, if, if you don't need them, then they're not for you. So just walk past them. But they are for some people, so we have to embrace, mm -hmm. make everyone feel supported. I don't, I, I, it's such a weird one, isn't it? It's because I, I think, and people mentioned before, like when, you, when you're working in this industry that's so vulnerable and it's so scary, like you said before, I think communication is a big part of it. But I, I don't know, like we don't, we, like a lot of the jobs we put our actors up for, they're in professional spaces that there are no corners, there are no like things being cut. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a real tough one. But I just it's annoying that we have to say things like just don't be a dick because there are some people out there that try like earn a quick buck or, or like <laughs> the cops back <laughs> or, or screw people over. I just don't understand. I don't. But maybe it's because I've been I left drama school like eighteen years, but seventeen years ago, and I've like I've had loads of beautiful experiences, and the dickheads that mess me about just aren't around anymore. Because I think word spreads, and I think if you're going out there with an intention to tell stories or work with artists or fill buildings with these beautiful narratives, that's going to last the test of time. So you're you saying do... we have some responsibility in ourselves 100%. to make sure that we're avoiding the the negativity and the dangerous. But isn't what you're the, the whole thing about you know if you're in it for the right reasons, then your intent is going to be good anyway. Yeah, you know, right, if you've yeah. got people who are thinking, oh, I know a quick way of getting a woman to take a top off. I'll pretend to be like a photographer or something like that. Mm. They're not they're not doing it for, for any particular reason apart from their own satisfaction mm. and their own gratification. If you're in it for the art, then you're naturally going to be from an environment mm. where you are with like-minded individuals. You do have a, a narrative that mm. you all, uh, you know, communicate through and... You, you see things from, as you say, through the art, mm -hmm. as opposed to, oh, this is like a quick buck or this is like a cheap thrill sort of thing. So I suppose if, when you say, you know, when companies have got more credibility mm. and they have got the, the HR department, the stunt department, the, you know, everything is much more professional, mm. then people will naturally kind of go, oh, it's it's a proper thing, isn't it? So but also you, would, now, you would walk into it feeling much mm. safer. But now, if you, if you do something wrong now, it, it'll be online in 10 seconds. Yeah. So if you are like running workshops and make people get naked, word will get out in 20 minutes. I'll be fucked in 10. Like it won't, it won't, it won't, it won't build, it won't work. Mm. So yeah. there's that, there's the accountability factor that we live in now, which we're, we're so lucky to do that. I just, I, I think like you, and also you, I think you can tell when you meet someone, especially in, in the world of acting or storytelling, like who, who's who's the good egg, and also people talk. It's mm. weird, like when sometimes we get like say fifteen followers in one go, and I go, ah, oh, there's fifteen or there's sixteen actors together, and they're talking about workshops in London. And someone goes, oh, Lonesome's quite good, and he just goes, because word spreads. That's that's is what's happening with this as well with the podcast. Yeah. I'll bring someone into this podcast now. And then I'm finding like 10 or 15 people mm. all of a sudden follow or are messaging me saying, oh, can I be part of that? Yeah, I love that. And like, yeah. it, like it resonates, the positivity mm. resonates. 100%. And yeah. the after negativity that initial, After that well. initial email going, I'm not really, you know, I've just started a podcast. Can you come to the Star <laughs> Theatre? Uh, just be me and you and the camera. <laughs> yeah, but... Are you not worried about the safeguarding side of that? Well? Uh, not with him. <laughs> we've, we've been through it. We've been through it all, haven't we? <laughs> 
I think you're right. I think like the you know the integrity, the intentions of people, and also work. You know, it's famous saying in this industry that work leaves work. I've got far more acting jobs from word of mouth and working with people than I ever have from auditioning mm. with strangers. Mm. A lot of my my favourite jobs and my my <coughs> more successful quote unquote jobs have come from doing a play and then there's one person in that play who then goes on to do another project and they mm-hmm. recommend me for that project who then is working with that person and say recommend me for that project and vice versa and I quite like that. Mm. I love that connection and that community and that like interwoven everyone says this industry is quite incestuous and it is. Oh yeah, yeah. but any any industry is incestuous. Mm. Yeah. You know, you kind of if uh, I know people from like the lighting world. Yeah. Uh, in the Sorry, the street lights, the lighting, lighting, lighting street lights, uh, right. internal lights, and stuff like that. That's interesting. And there's only there's only like about eight companies <laughs> it... in the UK, but right. they all kind of like move around each other. So it's like if you're within an industry, you will float around similar sort of circles because you've got a, a, a background, you've got a knowledge Ooh. that is transferable. But the people that are good to work with will always be the ones that you want to work with again. I mean, again, yeah, when yeah. I was a, when I was a teacher. The one thing I used to teach the kids that was really important, uh, and the adults I taught, was, again, don't be a dickhead. Because yeah. if you're if you're working somewhere, you might not actually be the best person in that audition. Mm. You might not. There might be someone that walks in that is superb, but they've worked with them before, and yeah. they are a dickhead. Yeah. And they've worked with you before, and you're not. Yeah. And you'll get it. Yeah. Because they want to work with you. 100%. Because they yeah. appreciate your work ethic, the fact that you work hard, the fact that you get the job done, the fact that you're willing to work to actually do it. Mm. So that's, that's yeah, massively totally important.